When will we know? We'll know that the Cowboys are for real when they finally freaking win it. I mean, I just like, they're smoke and mirrors. This team is so, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to fall in love with Dak Prescott the first few weeks of the season, despite him coming off that injury. Because since QBR became a thing in 06, there are only three other quarterbacks that are as good or better than Dak Prescott the first month of the season. They are Patrick Mahomes, Peyton Manning, and Tom Brady. What's the common denominator? They all have rings. So Dak and what he does doesn't really mean much for the Cowboys. Boys, at least that was the, what the numbers will tell you. I think a good measuring stick is going to be next week because this is going to be a game where they are overmatched. Let's just be real. But a Chargers team is sort of like the Cornish hen to the golden goose that the Bucks are. But in okay. wait, wait, how did you already get to Cowboys Chargers week two? Frank Isola, talk to me about the Cowboys big picture this season and when will we know? Yeah, L's buddy Dan Quinn now running the defense. I think the defense will be fine. I think Dak Prescott will eventually be fine. Let's remember, he hasn't played in 11 months, and he didn't throw a pass in the preseason. So here's a guy who got a huge contract. We know all the pressure when you're going to be the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. I think the break that they get, the division that they're in, isn't great. Washington has a chance to maybe win it, but I think Dallas should come through. They might be 9-8 and eight and win the division for crying out loud, but I'm not expecting too much of them in terms of playoff success. Regular season, they'll be fine, but I don't think this is a big time. You heard Frank kind of gloss over, though. Oh, Dan Quinn's running the defense now. They'll be better. Israel Gutierrez, is that how you see it? They have better players. Yeah, absolutely. There's two things that really factor into what the Dallas Cowboys are going to be this year. One is Dak Prescott's health and his ability to play like his old self. And two is this defense, right. which was historically bad last right. year. Now, they addressed it very, very much so in the draft and in free agency. And if they sort of project to be even an average or slightly below average defense, and if you project then – a slightly diminished version of Dak Prescott, let's say, for the course of this season, that still has them projected at like 10, 11 wins. And so you forget how good Dak Prescott was, how much he made up for what that bad defense was. So, if again, if they become somewhat even close to mediocre, and, again, they would almost have to be with all the improvements, I think that with the health of Dak Prescott, this offense can absolutely hold its own, average somewhere between 26 and 30 points a game. The pieces are all there. We just need to make sure that he's not overcompensating with the ankle and hurting that shoulder. I'll get back to you in a second. Plasky. Yeah, you said with the health of Dak Prescott. That's a huge question mark, Izzy. Yes, I think defensively, Micah Parsons with Quinn, they're going to be better defensively. But offensively, remember last year they scored 11 fewer points a game without Prescott. That's huge. They were 4-7 and seven without Prescott. That's huge. And anybody who watched Hard Knocks knows – it, he's not fully ready for the season. I mean, it's, it's, it's obvious to me, and you can tell, the team really relies on his heartbeat, on his pulse, and it was wavering there dur during, during hard knocks. I mean, you saw him with the, with the injuries, with, try with, with the shoulder, with the ankle, trying to come back from it. I don't know what, when he's going to be ready or if he's ready. So I think it's a huge question mark. It's all about Dak. L. Duncan, last word. None of you answered the question. <laughs> then the offense will do what, Izzy? I did. What, Frank? What, Bill? No, you didn't. The point of the matter is, is that Jerry Jones is not hanging division banners. So, yes, okay, they're going to get I by their terrible division. Good. They've got they've got the 18th hardest strength of schedule. The problem with the Cowboys is, is that by the time they get to the playoffs, they're a team that has been forged in tepid water instead of fire. So, who is this team? We will have no idea until the playoffs, when it counts, and they don't That's win. But I said, that's what I said. No, that's, that's not what, what you said. said. Not at all, Frank. That is not so. what either of you said. <laughs> Please defend your argument yeah, then. Go ahead, Frank. No, she, well, she happens, I hate saying this, she happens to be 100% right. Never is more spoken about for a team that does so little. I get it. They're a good regular season team, but do you see them winning three or four playoff games? I just don't see it. There are too many good teams in that division, and Dak Prescott is a gigantic question mark, an, expansion, an expensive question mark, but a question all mark. All right. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.